Hey, thanks for joining us. We have an active week ahead of us. I'm 13 News Meteorologist Matt Standridge. You've probably seen a lot of different information online about what's going to be happening next week. We've got multiple storm systems on the way. We wanted to give you perspective on what we're thinking as a weather team as we go into this next week of February. It does look active. We figured we'd hop on here as we're getting ready for the big game to watch with families and friends. And we just want to let you know, you know, today is dry. Tomorrow's going to be dry starting Tuesday, though. That's when the weather's going to start to get a little bit wonky for us. We've got an active jet stream. In fact, you can see it on the weather maps this evening. Check this out. All these high level clouds streaming in from the Baja California and southern uh, parts of California there too. Clouds are just streaming. They're racing to the north and east at a pretty good clip. That's roughly where we do have the jet stream, at least part of the jet stream. We're also going to get some more northwest winds kind of funneling down from uh, the Pacific Northwest too. But the highway, the interstate for clouds will be right over central Indiana. So overall, we're going to be on the cloudier side this week too. There will be sun breaks. But because the jet stream is right over us, kind of like railroad tracks for storm systems. In fact, the next one is hitting the jet stream right now. This doesn't arrive until early Tuesday morning. But we're going to see multiple systems develop along this jet stream and come right at us. They'll pick up some Gulf moisture. Now, here's the thing. Small little tilts in the jet stream are going to take place, and that will help carry these storm systems maybe a little bit farther north, maybe a little bit farther south with each one. Each one's going to hit different parts of Indiana. I think each one has the potential. There's three ahead, but each one has the potential to drop some snow and ice across Indiana, but in different parts of the state. So let's go ahead and dive in just a little bit. We're quiet for the rest of this the Sunday evening and the rest of your Monday will be pretty quiet. Some clouds still lingering. I think we'll get a couple sun breaks though. As you see the clouds thinning up just a little bit here on a, a Sunday evening. But man, that jet stream's right over us. And then we've got these colors showing you some of the colder air. And notice how Indiana is just on the edge. And usually where we have the edge is where we get these low pressure systems at the surface that actually carry the, the water and the snow and the ice kind of right along the edge. So check this out. We're wrapping up your weekend. Colder air keeps on coming down, but these winds just highlight this massive jet stream. Now the winds are the wind field is actually pretty large, but the core of the wind is closer to Indiana. We're, we're sitting right in the center of this thing. And so that's where we are probably in the kind of the crosshairs for each system that's passing on through at least different parts. And this low pressure from the north, this is an upper level low. This kind of helps build in big pockets of cold air in the winter, and that's going to be standing by to supply us with the cold air that we need to possibly get some winter weather out of these systems. So the question is, where will these systems hit in Indiana and what will these systems bring? Rain, ice, snow? I think we're going to get a mix with each one. Let's kind of hit all three real quick. Tuesday, starting early in the morning, lasting throughout much of the afternoon, We've got a system that's coming towards southern Indiana. There's going to be some snow showers. There even be maybe a couple flurries in central Indiana, but really once you get south of Bedford and Seymour, we've got some accumulation chances a little bit on the low side, but southern Indiana gets some snow Tuesday throughout the day. Maybe a little bit of mix as well. I'll show you the zones in a moment. Then on Wednesday, Wednesday starts dry, but in the afternoon and evening, another wintry system is going to come on through. We've got some new updates on it looks a little bit more icy. That's not good news. Ice is the worst. Rather get snow than ice, but it looks like a good chunk of us could get some ice with maybe a little bit more snow to the north. I'll show you the zones. I'll show you the counties, what we're thinking right now. And then as we get to this next weekend, it's still, you know, six days out. We do have a lot of specifics yet, but we've got another storm system that will just continue to ride this jet stream. There's not going to be much movement. I mean, there'll be wiggles in the jet stream, but really it's kind of parked here for this week. So it's just system after system after system. You get one to pass on through, atmosphere takes a break for a second, and then another one comes right on by. So Tuesday, Wednesday night, and into Thursday morning, early Thursday morning. So this is kind of an overnight one that we'll watch too, and that messes with the temperatures. I'll show you in a moment. And then Saturday, time is gonna change on this one, we think a little bit, but right now it kind of looks like Saturday afternoon and evening, and maybe in the Saturday night. So let's kind of walk through these. For your Tuesday, the bulk of the activities to the south. Northern half of Indiana, 
don't have to worry. We think in this light blue color, there could still be some light flurries that pass on by. Probably not much accumulation. I'll show you accumulation map in a moment because now we are less than 48 hours, really 36 hours or less now as we get to this system. So we got a snowfall map for you. Once you get into the deeper blues, it's a higher confidence of getting some accumulating snow. Now, as you guys know, the zones shift over time throughout the storm system. So what you get actively changes. This is kind of a rough general idea is what we're thinking throughout Tuesday, but throughout the afternoon, as temperatures warm up, there may be a little bit more mixing temporarily before then the mixing leaves again. So that may cut into some of our snowfall totals, but Southern Indiana has a shot of getting more snow. All right, low pressure lifts a little bit farther north for the next system. This is Wednesday late afternoon, really into the heart of the evening and Wednesday night. So I think the commute home on Wednesday is going to start to get slick. The blue color show you more of the accumulating snow chances. This pink color shows you where we think we've got more of an icy threat. There might be a little bit of sleet, but the freezing rain may be worse than the sleet. Freezing rain is always worse, but I'm talking about the, the coverage of the freezing rain may be larger and there might be a little sleep, but it really looks more like a freezing rain type of event that could be possibly coming in towards central Indiana. So the update is today. Everything's kind of trending farther north. The system may kind of wrap up to the north a little bit faster, and that also pushes your cold air farther north and the warmer air farther north as well. Everything goes north, so that means the ice zone also goes north. There are going to be changes to this. Could we keep shifting this north? Possibly. If we stay on the colder side, will we need to adjust these a little bit farther south? That's possible too. Still got a couple days to chew on that forecast. And six days out from now, still ways to go. We've got another accumulating chance. This is just a, a rough eyeball. Don't take this you know, as gospel. But what we're thinking is instead of these storm systems kind of flinging and kind of swinging across the state, maybe south or maybe north, this one's more like a bowling ball coming in from the central plains and will just kind of press its way eastbound. And so that may be able to wrap a little bit more cold air where you're constantly changing what you're getting. I do think we'll start off maybe with some mix and rain, but then on the back side, especially Saturday evening, Saturday night, we could get a good dose of snow this coming weekend. Still several days out. We're just kind of giving you a heads up. We don't have accumulation maps or anything like that. Way too early for that, but just I want to let you know that we've got these three systems. So let's kind of go into each one just a little bit more. Let's start with your Tuesday system. I went ahead and put future track 13 there for Monday evening. Monday looks dry. In fact, I think we'll get sun breaks throughout the day. It's going to be a very average February day. We should be in upper 30s and I think that's where we'll be. But in the evening, clouds will start to increase as we've got weather coming in from the west. So clouds will increase throughout the afternoon and evening. I think we stay dry. Now, could there be a stray flurry overnight? Sure. But look at where the bulk of the activity is. This is Tuesday at 3 o'clock in the morning. We're getting ready for our newscast there on Tuesday morning, starting at 4. We'll start to track some snow and a little bit of wintry mix in southern parts of Indiana, but that could still kind of clip us there towards Bloomington. And then once you get to Bedford and Seymour, maybe just south of Columbus, and then really for Scottsburg and Henryville, and you get into some of the northern suburbs of Louisville. So Jeffersonville, Clarksville, we'll be watching there as well. New Albany, too. This is 7 o'clock in the morning, Tuesday. A little bit more heavy precipitation starts to come in. And the temperature should be cold enough that a lot of this is a good burst of some wet snow. It could be a little bit of mix at times, too. But notice how everything's south. You know, Indy's not really getting this one, we think. We think this one should stay off to the south. This is more Kentucky storm and southern Indiana storm, kind of the southern third of the state. The cutoff line is sure close to Bloomington and, and Columbus. Could this shift just a little bit? Sure, and we'll let you know. But we do think this one is trending farther to the south. Here's the thing, though, as we get later into the morning, really good bursts of snow, but then you do see a little bit of green trying to pop up. That's kind of the indication that as we just get sunlight throughout the day, although the clouds are thick, there might be just enough sunlight that you can warm temperatures up just a little bit. <clears throat> and if that takes place, we'll start to get maybe a little bit more of a mix, maybe a little bit of freezing rain and, and sleet, and then maybe switching over to snow temporarily. But then I think later in the evening, future track doesn't is not too um, too excited about the colder weather chance. But I do think we'll have some north winds. I think we could switch this back over to some snow later in the evening. So snow to mix and rain, maybe a little bit back to some light snow on the back side. So what does that mean? This is for your Tuesday wrapping up there Tuesday evening. There may be some flurries that are able to make their way 
to Indianapolis, but I do think that heavier snow will stay to the south. Now, snow accumulations are tough because you switch over. So when you're thinking about snow, do you accumulate, you know, do we show a map before the rain starts? How much snow did you get there? Maybe you got two inches or so, maybe three. But then once the rain and mix comes in, you're going to start dwindling that back down. And then maybe you can get another half inch or so on the backside. It gets wonky. So don't take these numbers, you know, just completely uh, what you're going to actually see throughout the day. What you're going to see on the ground throughout the day will change in southern Indiana. But overall, what we just want to let you know is that the farther south you go, we do think the chance for accumulation will be a little bit higher. We're, we're not really expecting accumulation in central Indiana and that cutoff or maybe it's starting to stick a little bit. Maybe you get maybe even get a quick inch, but then it melts down to a dusting or so that's going to take place towards Bedford and Seymour, home of the owls and then south towards Henryville and Scottsburg and maybe a little bit more once you hug closer to the Ohio River. But we do want to let you know that it's not just all snow, although I think most of the time it will be some snow showers, but that we could have some mix at times. So that's your Tuesday system for a lot of us, though, from Indy North. We're thinking, OK, that doesn't impact me at all. I'm OK. What about system number two, Matt? We want to know about that one because that's going to hit us maybe. All right, let's talk about it. We think it's a little bit more on the icier side. I want to show you future track 13 as this system comes in. Here's Wednesday at noon. I think Wednesday starts dry. It starts cloudy because we got a big system on the way. But after lunchtime and really for that evening commute, we'll start to get, I think, some snow and also some wintry mix and, and rain to the south. Where will that cutoff be? We're still working on it, but this is just one simulation. Overall, we know that the low pressure will be farther to the north compared to the past storm, the one on Tuesday. So that allows more precipitation to move off to the north. Plus, we didn't really talk about it in the last one. There's some higher pressure on the other one that is helping to squeeze the system farther south. We won't have that as much for Wednesday's system. So the precipitation bands will just be wider overall. They can cover a bigger area. Let's say that. But with a more northern low, we think that we could possibly see maybe a little bit more of that that wind kind of wrapped around to try to cool us down to stick with some snow and some mix. But here's kind of one simulation. We've got a, a, several that we've been looking through. But the question is, will we get more snow or ice? We think the ice threat is a little bit wider than what we think this is future track 13 is showing. I think there's a good chance that India is a lot of times in that mix too. But this is kind of showing you the timing. We played it through your Wednesday evening all the way through Wednesday night. Here's six o'clock Thursday morning. Most of it's out of here. Could there be a flurry still? Sure. But temperatures that morning will be in the 20s. So no matter what you got, let's say you got some freezing rain and sleet, a nasty mixture. Well, that's not going to go away by Thursday morning. We think there's going to be a lot of slick spots waking up and headed out the door on your Thursday morning. Maybe you got snow. Well, it's not going to melt, at least for the going into the morning commute. So we'll watch that closely, but it could be really slick waking up Thursday morning. Here are the zones that we think we're at right now. The blue color showing you more cumulating snows and we think the darker blue, kind of the high confidence, a higher confidence of more accumulation. And then the farther north you get, you just get away from this low pressure system. You know, we're thinking that snow won't be as heavy because you want to be close enough to the low that you have good moisture, but you don't want to be too close to the low because the low is probably going to be where the, the rain is and maybe a little bit of mix. So you want to be, you kind of want to be that sweet spot. And we think that more of that sweet spot could be northern Indiana where we get more of that freezing rain and wintry mix. Although I think we may trend on more of the freezing rain side there across central Indiana. Then you get into the green color that shows you more of a cold rain. Now also through the system, this will probably adjust a little bit. And if we push it really just deep into the night and into Thursday morning, if we can push the system back another two or three hours, I think the snow chances will go up just a little bit because you'll be able to keep maybe just a temperature two degree colder and that will increase some snow chances rather than have this ice over us. But, but guys, right now, Wednesday looks icy. We'll be watching that Wednesday evening and into Thursday morning. Here's just kind of a, a rough ice accumulation forecast. It gets tough on these. But we've got this swath over central Indiana where there could be, you know, up to three tenths of an inch. That's a little bit more than a quarter of an inch of ice that starts causing some power outages and it's a mess on the roads. Once you get to that level, you can really get the roads to get a glaze or two. It's not just, you know, some of these systems we've talked about. Oh, the glaze is just mainly on your car door handle or mailboxes, things like that. This could possibly be a little bit thicker. 
Then we get to our next system, the third out of the three. <laughs> it's an active week, guys. That comes in this coming weekend. There's still gonna be some track changes on this. But instead of kind of just swooping by, we think it just more goes west to east, just barrels its way eastbound, right in that jet stream from a west to east standpoint. And that could lead to more rain at first and then you switch over to snow. Sometimes when you swing these things more, you stay in the same type of precipitation longer. But when they go from west to east, a lot of times your mode of precipitation changes over time. So I think we'll start as rain Saturday afternoon when it's warmer, but then we'll cool off quickly Saturday evening, Saturday night, and that's when we could switch over to some ice and some snow. No accumulation forecast for that one either because we're still several days out and these zones will change as we push forward. So here's your seven day forecast. We'll touch more on it at six o'clock tonight. We just wanted to hop on with you guys uh, as you're getting ready. You're getting the, the food ready. Final touches on these dips and uh, getting ready for the big game with your family and friends. We just want to let you know that the week's going to be active ahead. Enjoy this evening, though. No weather concerns this evening. It's just chilly. I think we're gonna be chilly tomorrow, too, although close to average average 39. You see that to the right. 38 It's our high tomorrow. We'll have a mix of clouds and sun. Clouds will increase later in the day, but here's system number one. Not a huge deal for central Indiana. Could be a flurry, but better chances for snow and mix to the south. Wednesday morning starts dry, but Wednesday afternoon and evening, we start to get that icy mix coming in. Best chances of snow will be to the north. We think more towards Lafayette and Kokomo and Marion and Tipton and Peru. We've got a higher chance for snow for you guys, but a lot of cross central Indiana, maybe more of an icy mix. We'll watch that closely farther south, south of Bloomington, Columbus, Seymour, Bedford. We kind of switch instead of you guys getting the snow on Tuesday, then you get more of that rain possibly coming up Wednesday, but it gets real cold Wednesday night. So there could be some flash freezing on some of these roads Thursday morning. So Thursday morning is not going to be fun headed out the door. We'll watch that. Maybe a couple morning uh, flurries in the morning, but I think most of the day is dry. Friday should be dry. And then Saturday we start off with that cold rain because we're headed to 40 or we think right now about 40. But as temperatures drop, to the 20s later into the night by Sunday morning. I think we'll switch over to snow and there could be some good bursts of heavy snow there early Sunday morning. Sunday could be a little bit of a mess too. So active week, jet stream sitting right over us. It is just storm system after storm system after storm system. We've got three and we'll be right there with you as each one passes right by. Make sure you keep it here, keep it local. As always, we'll keep you advised.